don't even see it, but that's the flag of Sweden. This is my little stool. Sweden's got some cool stuff, like meatballs and those little red gummy fish. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about something else Sweden got. Yeah, I got a new product in the mail. All right. Before I go any further with this Lou Flighter review, I need to talk to you. Um, Long-time subscribers may not know this, and if you're new, you probably don't know this. I don't like to do product reviews. I do not email companies and ask them to do product reviews. I know a lot of YouTubers do. I don't care one bit if I ever do another product review. I don't like to do them. I turn them down a lot, all right? And I'll only do them if it's something that I think I could use and something I think I could believe in and something I think I would not mind recommending to my viewers. There's been one or two chances in the last five years that I've had a product that a company offered to send me and I thought about it and I said, no, I'm not going to do that. One of the companies said, just keep the product anyway. And the other company, I sent it back to them. I, I didn't like it. All right. In fact, a week or so ago, I was contacted by a competitor to Lou Flighter and um, they wanted me to do certain a number of uh, videos, a couple videos, and they wanted me to do an Amazon review and everything to send me their product. I said no. And about four or five days later, less than a week later, I was contacted by the folks at Luft Lighter. This is the Luft Lighter One. And I thought long and hard about it, maybe half an hour, maybe only 25 minutes. But I answered the email pretty darn quick. And I said, yes, I'll do it. One, in their email, they said, we will send it to you, no strings attached. In other words, Lighter did not tell me I had to do a video. They did not tell me what I had to say. They just said, we'll send it to you. If you like it, show it to your viewers. If not, just keep it basically, all right? So I said, yeah, send it to me. Now, 10 years ago or so, when these first became available in the US, they were invented like around 2006, but it was about 2009, 2010-ish, if I remember correct. They, they started appearing in the United States. And um, I wanted one. I really thought it would come in handy for where I lived at the time and what I needed, okay? Then we moved here. And I kind of grill out here in my backyard. I got a big four acre backyard, y'all. And I grill about um, yay distance from the house. So I'm going to need an extension cord to use this. Now, Lou Flighter does have one, quite a bit more expensive, uh, that runs on batteries, all right? But I think this one will be uh, just fine. I've got an extension cord long enough to reach the house, all right? Uh, but when I moved here, I kind of gave up on wanting one, you know? And um, I'm quite content with chimneys and stuff like that. So if you're watching this and you don't know, when I do a product review, I'm a little sarcastic, okay? And I'm a little long-winded. My longtime viewers kind of like that. I tell stories and stuff. And if you don't like that, you know, hey, thanks for watching Big Blue Barbecue anyway. All right. Uh, we're going to get into this, though. I'm not going to waste too much of your time, okay? I'm just trying to tell you why I agreed to go ahead and get the Luft lighter. I had wanted one a decade ago or so, up to about seven years ago when we moved here, and I kind of forgot about it. I'd been thinking about something similar to this recently though, just mainly for lighting my drum smokers. Wanted something long, I could reach down in and light them. You know, sometimes I'll drop in those fire starters, the tumbleweeds or the wax cubes or something. You gotta throw them in there, light them with my hand and throw them in there. Or I gotta reach down way down because I normally use my Zippo, you know, and light it. Or I gotta take the basket out, light the basket. I got one of those propane torch things, light the basket, drop the basket full of coals back in there. That's dangerous too. Lighting my drum smoker with one of those propane torches, you know, the flamethrower things you get it burning weeds with and starting bonfires with and stuff, you know. If I light my drum with that, it's too hot and it, it, it heats up the drum really, really fast and there's like a backdraft and it's not cool to be lighting my charcoal down in my drum with that thing. It's okay maybe for other applications, but not for that thing. So I figured this would be good for lighting charcoal in my drum, all right? And uh, I figured it'd be good for lighting the fireplace in my house, all right? Because uh, on the video, um, the guy Richard Loof, that's what Loof Lighter stands for, he invented. He said, you can put this up your chimney a little bit, blow it for about 20 seconds or so, get the um, draft going, get all the cold air out of the chimney column so that smoke doesn't come in your house when you're trying to light your, and then you can light your um, 
fire in your fireplace inside your home, all right? And that's probably where this will reside, is right there on my hearth. But I will use it for my, uh, if I like it, if I like it, I will use it for my drum smokers, and I'll probably use it for my gaucho style grill, my new K grill, for those of you that know, I have an uh, Argentine style grill that I really love to use. And I may use it for my little tabletop grills and, and my kettle grills too, you know? I gotta like it first. So, first it comes in this little sleeve, and as you see, you gotta pull the sleeve off. The print on that sleeve is really, really light, and I gotta wear reading glasses, and I had to have bright lights to see it. I wish the print was a little darker so you could read it or larger or something, all right? And by the way, one other thing about product reviews, if you're watching this product review, it means I like it. If I don't like it, you're not watching the review. I will be sarcastic, and uh, any criticism I have may be in a sarcastic mode. That doesn't mean I don't like the product. If I put this out on YouTube, it's there because I'm not going to just run down a company. I'm not going to do that, all right? Besides, I don't even think y'all are straight. Is this thing straight? Well, you're going to have to go like that anyway. Loof lighter, all right? Come, so you got to circumcise this box by taking the sleeve off. Yeah, you just kind of like, you know, remove it, all right? So get the box circumcised. Now, I have opened it and I have looked at it, all right? And then I put it back in here so I show you what it looks like when you open it because everybody likes unboxing videos. No, they don't. <laughs> I can't stand the unboxing videos. Why am I doing one? All right, hey, you got a bunch of literature in here. This is the instructions in several different languages. I read mine in Spanish, ha ha. So I read all the instructions in Spanish, because I can. Got this little cool literature book in here, and there's a little story about how he got the idea for the aloof lighter by putting charcoal in a toaster and using a vacuum cleaner. And all this time, I thought he got the idea by just wanting to uh, soup up a heat gun, you know? All right, because it's basically like a heat gun. Then there's this uh, warning label, and me being an American male, I just ignored the warning label. Yeah, you know. And then it looks like that. Oh, yeah. Pull it out of here. Yep, and this is really the first time I held it. I didn't really pull it out of the box. I just opened the box before. And I could tell it is made out of some solid stuff. Right in there is where um, the fan, intake for the fan. All right, that's the end, that's the business end of it right there. This lights up, heats up like one of those old cigarette lighter things that they used to have in cars. You push it in and it popped back out and you could light your smoke with it, you know? And when you were a kid, if you touched it, you never touched one again. I guarantee a lot of us went to school with little blood blisters we were afraid to tell our mama about because we touched that cigarette lighter in the car. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Works like that, okay? And then you touch it to the what you're lighting, like the coals, and it'll ignite the uh, charcoal, and then you pull it back, and this fan just blows on it, all right? It's got this little thing here so it can sit like on a table, like that, and out of the way and cool off, all right? And I'm going to talk about that in a minute, too, because there's been a lot of criticism on YouTube about it getting hot. All right. And on this thing, it's got a bottle opener. And I've watched a lot of videos of Loof Lighter. They seem to be really proud of their bottle opener because everybody knows that any barbecue equipment worth its salt has to have a bottle opener. If it doesn't have a bottle opener, it's not legit. I mean, I even put a bottle opener on my UDS, yeah, on, one, on my uh, ugly drum smoker. It's got a bottle opener on it just to make it legit. I mean, this spatula, it has a bottle opener that makes it legit. This meat mop right here, it's got a bottle opener to make it legit, you know? All right, heck, this paint can opener, it's got a bottle opener to make it legit, you know? And this can opener, it, I don't know if you can read that, but it cost 25 cents back about 1953. All right, yeah. This can opener, it's got a bottle opener. It also has a corkscrew. So, Loof Lighter, if you want to impress me, put a corkscrew on this thing. Then I'll get impressed. Wow. You know what impressed me even more? A can opener. Not just any can opener, not like this thing, but a nice can opener. And opened up a number 10 can of uh, beans so we can make some uh, bar baked barbecue beans, you know, in a Dutch oven or something. You put a can opener on this thing, then I'll be impressed. Actually, I'm impressed with it anyway. It really is built solid. It's got this uh, heavy duty cord on it, three prong outlet, all right? And um, this cord is, this, this is a solid cord. It's like, you know, those outdoor extension cords. I mean, it, it's not a rinky dink little cord. And um, it is three meters long, all right? For you Americans, that's three yards, nine inches, and 39 60 fourths. Yeah, a lot easier in the metric system, isn't it? Three yards, nine inches, and 39 60 fourths. Three meters long, all right? Now, uh, I do yep, barbecue back here. I'm gonna have to use an extension cord because um, my house is about 
uh, maybe 20 to 25 feet away. All right, that's about eight or nine meters for you folks from foreign countries, okay? All right, anyway, this is a solid cord and uh, it, it appears to be quite solid. This feels to be like, I thought this was gonna be like cheap aluminum. That is some thick aluminum, almost feels like steel. All right, and being aluminum, it should cool off um, sooner. So that's just a, a heat shield basically. Now, I've seen some criticisms online about this. Uh, other YouTubers and stuff um, said that it gets hot. Well, heck, my charcoal chimney gets hot. I got to look for some place, safe place to put my charcoal chimney down. I light my charcoal chimney, come back when it's full. I got to grab it with a hot glove, and I got to pour out the coals and sparks fly everywhere, and then I got to put that hot thing down somewhere. I can't imagine this taking any longer to cool off than a, than a chimney. Maybe it does, but it'll rest like that on the table, right? and uh, cool off, or you could hang it somewhere, you know, or you could pop open a cold one and pour it over it. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's not supposed to get wet. I don't know. Anyway, I can't wait to use this, y'all. I can't wait to use it. Now, I've had other electric lighters before, like this thing. This thing is really old. I used to have a PK grill, and this thing worked with my PK grill because it was oblong, and I liked the coals on one side, and this would sit on the other. And I remember I'd have to grab a glove or something because that thing would get hot. I hadn't had the PK grill in 19, 20 years. Fell off the back of my truck and cracked and hadn't had one. But anyway, um, this just lights the coals up with the little electric thing, but there's no fan on it, all right? This thing's going to be cool. All right, hey, y'all. Uh, Standard time kicked in at the first of November, first week of November, and uh, we're in mid to late November right now, and um, so it's getting dusk. That's cool though, because it'll give you a little um, lighting as we try to uh, use this, okay? And you'll get to see those embers start to glow. All right, it's 12 minutes into this. I think it's built solid. Let's go ahead and use it. I'm gonna cook some ribeye steaks tonight. Probably won't show you that, but um, well, I will show you lighting the coals. Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. Well, look at that. Hangs well on my drum smoker. Let's see if it'll light it. All right, look, I've got, I'm tall and I've got long arms, but I'm tall. So I figure somebody shorter could easily reach into here. I don't feel like I'm gonna have the backdraft that I did from the propane torture <laughs> coming back in here and everything. Uh, I think this is gonna work real, real well. Now these uh, coals have been used before, all right? Uh, but it's still, you know, almost a full basket since I'm not smoking anything tonight. I'm just trying to see if I can get them lit well, all right? And there we go, right like that. It's a lot quieter than I thought. It may sound loud on YouTube, but this is a lot quieter than I thought. I'm starting to hear things, but I don't see, see anything lighting up yet. You can see the uh, elapsed time on the video. I'm not editing this, so this is real time. Look at that. Look at that. Now we're going to pull back a little bit. I mean, I'll stay there just for a few minutes. Look at that right there. This is a um, big green egg, Brazilian lump thing. I'll take a picture of the bag. You can see what it looks like. All right. So you pull it back about 20 seconds. Oh my goodness. The reason y'all are watching this video is I am impressed with this. I truly am impressed with this. And it's a lot quieter than I thought. Hair dryers are louder than this. This is, this is really nice. Look at that. Look at that right there. And it's easy. I don't have to reach in very far. And I can light this 55 gallon drum smoker. That's probably enough right there to get this smoker going. Yes, indeed. Of course, I would leave the smoker open and let it run and get up the tent. But if I needed to stoke it, I could stoke it just like that. All right, not too much damage after the first light. I just now did it. That's a little warm right about there. But this is safer so far than a chimney. Now, if I was to like run it for about seven or eight minutes on the thing, maybe it'd get real hot, but uh, a chimney's hotter than this. And so I just set it down on the table and it would cool because I would just leave that, you know, those ignited coals right there to go ahead and ignite the other ones. That's plenty enough fire right there to start lighting the other coals, but I could leave it a little longer. That was, that was impressive. All right, I'm gonna light one in my uh, charcoal grill, cook some steaks, and we'll let you go. For those that are interested, that charcoal in the uh, drum smoker, it's a couple weeks old since I last used a drum smoker. It's that uh, Big Green Egg brand natural Brazilian hardwood. Um, that's what you saw me light there. All right, for the next test, just a good old Royal Oak Classic. 
All right, gonna be uh, cooking some steaks on this lodge tonight. I shut down my smoker already because I'm not doing any smoking tonight. It's a weeknight, but uh, it did light it and it lit it well. So let's go ahead and get this lit. All right, just to show you kind of what happens here. You see that start to glow right there? You see it start to glow? That's what's happening. Now that took a few seconds, you know, five or 10. All right, let's go ahead and light the charcoal up. Just like that right there. Zoom in a little bit. Be cooking some ribeyes. If you're wondering, I'm gonna put some Dr. Doors coffee rub on these ribeyes tonight. All right. This old camp table is a little shaky, but it'll do well with the lodge. I don't always use it on this thing, but I plan to definitely be using this with my drum smokers. I'm going to use it with my gaucho grill. Whether or not now you see it's lighting, lighting up right there. I'm going to stay on these uh, briquettes a little longer. These briquettes are a few months old too, so they're not exactly the freshest. Been in Louisiana humidity. It's a lot quieter than I imagined it being. It really is. We're going to get them ignited well enough to um, where they generate their own heat and enough heat to continue to ignite the rest of the coals in the pile, you know. Um, got these embers glowing now, but those embers aren't hot enough to keep lighting the next fuel. So we got to get it hot enough. So just continue to blow right there. It's supposed to be blowing like 1,200 to 1,500 degree heat on them. And um, it's not hard to do. You don't have to depress this button very far either. Just a little bit to get it going. You don't have to press it all the way down or mash on it. Seems like it's really built well. I'm very proud of it. And um, yeah, it's, it's somewhat expensive for a charcoal lighter. But knowing what I know now about it, if this wears out, I'd probably buy another one. I really would. Wouldn't even tell them I got a YouTube channel. Look at that right there. That's real time. Real time, and I'll be cooking before too long. That's plenty of heat to let those charcoal get uh get going. That's not hot there. Starting to get warm right about right about there. It's starting to get warm. So um, I don't think it's any more dangerous than a charcoal chimney. Hey, look, those that watch my channel, y'all know I'm just a fella having fun with food, fire, and a phone camera. I'm not a serious YouTuber. I don't ask companies to review products. Uh, most of the time, I turn them down, and uh, I only review them if I really think it's something I could use, and I'd be proud to recommend to my viewers. So if you see a product review on my channel, it's because I actually wanted to get it, and I did not write the company to do it. They contacted me first. I don't even ask for subscribers, y'all. I'm just having fun. And if you're still watching this video, I want to thank you for sticking around and watching Big Lou Barbecue. And I really want to thank the folks at Loof Lighter. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look. This is so cool. And I'm not a gadget guy. I am not a gadget guy. All right. I am a, a sort of a primitive guy. I kind of laugh at gadgets, you know. Batman, James Bond, they never impressed me. Having to use all kind of gizmos and stuff to catch bad guys. I'm not into all the gizmo stuff, but I like this one. And it's perfect for deep inside my drum smoker. Just reaching way down inside my drum smoker like that. It wasn't, I didn't have to bend over. I didn't have to um, drop into hot coals, a, bas a ba basket full of hot coals. I didn't have to light stuff with my hands and Zippo and drop them in there. It's, it's going to be perfect for my drum smoker. Anyway, uh, so far, I recommend it. We'll see the test of time. But thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. Thanks to Loof Lighter for sending me this. I'm really going to enjoy it. <laughs>